I just finished watching uh, The Last Exorcist. Um, it wasn't that good, honestly. I knew it wasn't going to be good. It was kind of like a mockumentary type of uh, film or movie. I don't like using the word film. Ugh. A movie. And, like, it was... It was kind of crazy. Um, it started off with this uh, reverend in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Um, the state next to mine. Um, and he was just, you know, describing how his life was as a pastor. And he said that they'll believe anything I say. And he said that they would believe if I talked about uh, putting what did he say? Something about a bread pie recipe or a pudding bread pie a pudding a bread pudding a bread some kind of fucking bread recipe they'd believe it. And uh, yeah they believed it. And then he got a letter uh, from this person out in uh, some kind of farm in Louisiana to go and exercise his uh, daughter. So he goes out there and he goes out there and his son, the son, his, her brother tells him to go and uh, uh, go and turn around and throws rocks at him which should give you the hint that you should not go there anywho he goes anyway and he meets up with the father and he meets with the daughter and he sets up this kind of like a kind of a little thing where he has to put her feet in the water and if the water boils that means there's a demon inside of her some shit like that well the sun catches on that he put something in the water anywho um he we find out later, we find out later that night that he's actually a, uh, a fraud. He puts like wire on the pictures, makes the bed nice and shaky. He puts, he put, he makes demon sounds and he puts vapor in the crucifix for whenever he pretends that the demon is inside of him or inside the crucifix he could push a button and the vapor will come out and later on we find out that the demon is actually real inside of her or so we think the demon is actually her guilty conscience or a demon child she tells the she tells the reverend that she meets up with this boy and he gets her pregnant but the thing is they go up to meet with the boy in this cafe and they sit and they talk to the boy and the boy actually was not who was not the father of the child but and also, sorry about this, and also he is gay. And then they find out that one of the reverends they had talked to earlier was one of the one, excuse me, was one of the ones that she had get kicked out of the, the Sunday school earlier. She had got kicked out two and a half years ago. But then, they wanted her, he had wanted, he was wanting, uh, 
What was I trying to say? Oh, he had a, held a party for them. And and then we come to find out that that Reverend is holding a cult. And when the baby is born, he's a born a demon baby. And they throw the baby into the fire. And the fire goes up in flames. And it may be a demon. It was a demon fire that happened. I'm sorry I'm not giving a good review, but... And then, anyway, that earlier in the movie, they see pictures on how they're gonna die. How each one of the the camera crew, the sound girl, and the reverend may have died. Um, the reverend stands in front of the fire with his crucifix. The camera girl runs, not the camera girl, the uh, sound girl runs and gets chopped into pieces like in the photos and the camera guy runs for his life. He hears the snap of a of a branch and he turns around and it was Caleb. Now I didn't tell you this before but Caleb was actually cut in the mouth by his sister or so we believe he was cut up in the mouth by his sister. He was taken to the hospital and that was the last time we saw him during the rest of the movie. Then at the end, we see him with his mouth taped up and the camera guy yells, or he says, Caleb, and the, and Caleb chops at his head. And the cameraman got, dies and that is the end of the movie. The movie wasn't that good, to be honest. I'm sorry I didn't give a decent review on the movie. It wasn't that good. Um, and I heard the second one is more... Is worse than this one. Um, I think this movie got 80-something on Rotten Tomato or 70-something. I don't remember. So, I don't know. If there was a, uh, a different time to watch this movie, or if you have time to watch this movie, go ahead and watch it if you want the full experience of watching this movie, because it's horrible as shit. But you can watch it yourself. Um, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it of this movie. Um... Honestly, if there's any more movies you'd want me to review, any songs you want me to review, I could do that for you. Um, I'm more of a movie slash music critic, so uh, I don't, I'm pretty much trying this movie review thing out, and uh, just because there's nothing else content I could do until Dead by Daylight's fixed but honestly if you guys enjoyed it make sure to like comment what you guys think and comment what other movies you'd like to me like uh, like for me to review I always fuck up but uh yeah this movie was kind of trash not gonna lie I can't believe the commercials for this I mean the trailers for this movie scared me as a kid and then I watch it, and it was absolute dog shit. What kind of kid gets scared of this movie, and then watches it, and then it's absolute dog shit? <sighs> anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Deuces, bitches, I'm out.